Hi hey everybody, this is Patrick Altmeyer. I'm going to show you how to install WordPress multi-site and BuddyPress using the uh, default BuddyPress thing. The, um, when BuddyPress 1.7 comes out, you won't have to use a BuddyPress theme anymore. You can use almost any theme you like, but for now, um, we're going to stick with the BuddyPress default theme anyway because it's good enough for most situations. Okay, the first thing you do is you're going to install WordPress, which I've already done, and I have another video on my channel which shows you how to do this. But since I've already installed WordPress, what I'm going to do first is open up FileZilla. You will need FileZilla or some other FTP program. And as you see, I've already created my site. I'm going to connect. And after the install is completely finished, see I'm in the public underscore HTML folder where I put the files in. And of course, if you have plus, this will say HTTP docs. Okay, we're going to have to open up the WordPress-config uh, file. Just right click with uh, FileZilla and hit View Edit. And it'll open up through Notepad. And right above here where it says, that's all happy blogging, you want to put in this bit of code right here. Uh, give me half a second while it's loading. Okay, we're going to open it up. I have it located right here. Okay, see where it says define WordPress multi site true? Because another thing is, when, after you're done installing, okay, let's go, I'll go here. I'm going to paste it in. And I want to close it. Save. And delete the local file. Upload it. Yes. Okay. Everything is saved. Okay. You're going to go back to the website. And now, if you, um, you just got done, if you just got done installing the um, the uh, regular Windows, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to. Uh, log out and log back in so you'll see the uh, changes. Okay, what I want to do is log in. As you can see, it has a default WordPress, uh, default, um, WordPress 12 theme in there right now. Okay, then you're going to log in. Username and password. And don't worry about any of the plugins. I what it is when I installed it, I uploaded my uh, fresh install with a bunch of plugins. I modified my uh, WordPress download file so I can do it all at one time. Okay, but under tools, you'll see see how it says network setup. Now you're going to follow these steps. I want subdomains. Now, in order to do subdomains, we get to log into cPanel, which in most hosts will be your URL slash cPanel. Or cpanel dot your URL dot com dot net whatever, or it'll be um, your IP address https colon backslash backslash your IP address colon 2083. See how it says colon 2083 instead of the URL, just say the um, IP address. Okay. And you're going to have to um, go to subdomains and create a wildcard subdomain. And it's not that hard. So I just put an asterisk here. I hit create. I'm all done. You don't have to worry about doing anything to your DNS servers. You see a lot of them say you have to create an A record with your IP address. Well, this step right here will automatically take care of it in Windows Host Manager. So this is how you create a wildcard subdomain setup. Now we're all done with that. Because I want to use the subdomains option. You don't have to do it if you're going to use the subdirectories option, but I like to use subdomains because Google treats them as domains. Okay, my Mr. Vitamins Nutrition Store. That's what I'm going to call it. 
and I'm gonna hit install okay now when you get to this page see how it says add the following to your WP config file and it says it's in the same location as the other one so again just highlight it right click and copy we're gonna go back using FileZilla we're gonna reopen the WP config file see the changes I made right here all you gotta do is uh, put right underneath it and again just above this part right here the files I just highlighted I like to just keep one space in between but it doesn't matter hit save and I'm gonna finish editing and re-upload to the file I'm gonna delete the local file I always hit yes and now re-uploaded it now we gotta add this to our HT access file okay when you do pretty links it's going to automatically create a WordPress file anyway. So what I'm going to do is uh, go back over here to FileZilla and see how the HT access file here when you, it, it, it's created automatically by Windows. If it's not, just type in the number sign space begin WordPress and underneath it. You're going to t paste what that I just highlighted before. See how I just colored up everything and overwrote it because you want to erase what's already there. Again, we're going to save it. And now everything's set up. Okay, now we're all done. Once you have completed this configuration, you have to log in again. So we're going to go over here. I don't use that, just log out. Log out. Okay, now we're going to re log in. okay now we're all set now you see that we have my sites and network admin that's where we're at right now so under under plugins what you want to do is click on it don't activate any of these but just go oh wait no what we have to do is we have to go to the network admin see I'm in my web, regular website right here but we um, since you have the first website you create is going to give you network capability this is the only area you can add plugins so I'm going to add new and just type in BuddyPress. The latest version is right here, 1.6.4. I can't wait till 1.7 comes out because then you can use anything you like. You don't have to use the BuddyPress thing. But I'm going to install it. And network activate. Absolutely. Okay, BuddyPress is successfully activated. Run the installation wizard. Now we're going to run the install wizard. Keep everything as is and hit next, save and next. Okay, automatically create these pages. This is see how it says uh, my main domain at vitamins info slash activity. That this is all going to be installed in my um, in my uh, you know main where it says this one here. It's going to be installed in here. Okay, enable permalinks. Okay, um, this is good enough right here where it says date, time, date, name, because all you really want is your sample post, but it'll give the date it was created, the year, day, and month, which is fine. It's not going to really hurt you or help you as far as SEO. Google really doesn't care about stuff like that. All it wants to do is know that at the end it gets the main information. Now it's going to ask if you want to use the... Uh, regular one or do you want to install the buddy template pack and, and choose well I'm just going to do with the default for now but you can install the buddy press template pack, template pack later on and as long as you're here in the network admin you can site-wide change the theme anytime you like but for this purpose I'm just going to say yes okay the buddy press setup is complete you're ready to go and that's it now let's just finish and activate it Okay, we're all done. Nothing, nothing else to do. Let's go visit the site right now. This is it. Here's BuddyPress. And you can set it up to where anybody can create a website anytime they like. I'm going to go back to the network admin and see if I can show that to you real quick. Okay, let me go to plugins, install plugins. 
Where's Buddy Press? Okay, network deactivate activity. Nothing's going on right now. The activity is all the new authors and stuff that's been created. Install themes that new. Here's all my sites. Here's the dashboard. And I'm looking for that one part where um, it's a plugin where you can create later on. So in part two, I want to show you how to have it to where when somebody visits the home page, they're going to be able to see this is the only one I've created so far. So um, people are going to be able to, on the login page, they're going to be able to uh, sign up for a website. Like here, I'm going to log out. Username, password, login, or if you want to create one, you um, you can create one. But I don't have it set up right now. I'm running out of time on this video. So in part two, I want to show you how to set it up to where anybody can come to your website and when they subscribe, it'll give them the option to um, produce their own link. This is Patrick Altmeyer. Thanks for watching. Okay, this is one little excerpt I forgot to add. I want to add this add to the end of the video, so hopefully you didn't stop right now. You're going to open up the FileZilla again and see where it says WordPress-Content. Open that up. Right-click, hit Create New Directory, and type in blogs.dr. This is where all your new uh, uploads and stuff from all your new websites are going to be um, WordPress is going to stick them all in there so all the other websites uh, images videos whatever um, are going to be here alright that's it thanks for watching and I'll